So guys, at last, we have some pretty major news about iOS 15 and what we can expect because Maguire Woods gives us details on a redesigned control center that looks very similar to what we have on macOS Big Sur. But also, we might have a hint from Apple that maybe we could see a major redesign with iOS 15, the first redesign iOS is having since iOS 7 back in 2013. And well, it does seem to be once again very Big Sur inspired. And on top of that, we have some rumors about a dual authentication feature coming to iOS 15 that of course could be taking advantage of both Face ID and Touch ID on the iPhone 13. So there is a lot to delve into and so without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so let's begin with Maguire Woods, a source that has been pretty accurate in the past, though do note, he does not have an Apple Trek rating and so, of course, take the information with a grain of salt, as per usual. Anyways, Maguire says that we could see a redesigned control center with iOS 15, and apparently, this could be very similar to what we see on Big Sur. Now, I can't lie, this does make a lot of sense because if you think about it, if you've used Big Sur, the control center weirdly feels like it's built for a touch-enabled device. In fact, a lot of people said this could be hinting towards touchscreen Max, and while I'm not sure about that, I am pretty sure that Apple can easily copy and paste the design UI of the control center on Big Sur over to iOS 15 especially considering the fact we haven't seen a major overhaul to the control center since iOS 11. And so yeah, it does make a lot of sense that Apple does overhaul this with iOS 15. Now in terms of what I want to see with the control center, apart from the design overhaul, I would love to see Apple giving us the ability to actually rearrange the position of each tile in the control center because right now it's pretty much fixed. You can add other tiles, but of course you can't, for example, move the battery saver mode tile right to the top. I would love to do that but of course we can't. And so yes, I would love the ability to actually rearrange and customize the control center. But also, I would absolutely love Apple giving third party apps access to the control center because right now it does feel a little restrictive since you can only use Apple's own first party tiles that of course can only control the settings of the device, but of course, for example, I would love to see maybe TickTick, for example, that could give us the ability to add a reminder or a task quickly with one button. I feel like those one button actions that some apps have could easily be turned into, of course, a tile that could be in the control center. And so I do hope we see that with iOS 15. Now do note, Maguire says the redesigned control center should appear in later betas of iOS 15 and so we probably will see this at the announcement and then maybe Apple adds the feature right at the end of the beta stage, right before the public release. Anyways, Maguire also mentions that iOS 15 could have support for AirTags if we don't see them released this month and also we could see a first party API that would allow developers to use a multi-factor authentication with their apps. And so of course that could be hinting towards Touch ID and Face ID coming to the iPhone 13. Now this once again seems pretty likely to me because of course Apple loves creating the image that they care about privacy and while I don't particularly agree that they actually do because of course in the past they have been caught taking advantage of our privacy they do at least like to create the image that they care. And so, of course, I could totally see Apple giving us some sort of secure lock feature that, of course, lets you use Touch ID and Face ID on the iPhone 13, which, of course, will be extra secure. And I guess that's some peace of mind for some users that their phone is pretty secure, even though having to use Touch ID and Face ID all the time might be a pretty long process and might get annoying 
annoying quite quick. And so hopefully Apple does not force this feature on us and instead lets us either use Face ID, Touch ID, or of course both. Right, so let's delve into the last tidbit. This might be a little fishy, but either way, it could be something pretty massive. And that is, Apple recently updated both the Apple Store Connect and of course the Apple Music for Artists icon. And as you can see, it's quite a visual change. And of course, as you can see, there does seem to be some sort of 3D depth in these new icons and so that has led people to believe that maybe this could be our first glimpse at what we can expect with a possible design overhaul on iOS 15. Now interestingly, these apps actually do incorporate the new material design that we saw on Big Sur. In fact, the 3D elements are very similar to what we see with the Big Sur icons. And so, it is plausible to me that Apple brings over the Big Sur icons to iOS and iPadOS, just so the lineup is pretty uniform. Because right now it does kinda annoy me that we have two different distinct design languages between macOS and iOS. And as if that wasn't enough evidence, we also have claims that apparently Apple has removed pretty much all the links to the stock apps under the App Store developer page, which does suggest that Apple is revamping the icons as we speak, and of course, they will reveal them at Dub Dub this year. There's really only one issue with this, and that is, I think people don't like change. I think that's something we've learned in the past. I remember the backlash Apple got with iOS 7 initially, and how it was completely different from the skeuomorphic design we had with iOS 6. And so, of course, we could see a similar backlash with iOS 15, if these icons do represent what we could expect with this redesign. And judging by what people are saying on the interwebs, they clearly don't like this. Also, you have to realize that the iPhone back in 2013 is nowhere near the phenomenon it is today because there are over 1 billion active users of the iPhone and maybe Apple doesn't want to risk radically changing the design because a lot and I mean a lot, would be pissed off by the new design, and so maybe that's why Apple has kept around the basic iOS 7 design for this long. I am just theorizing, but do let me know. Do you want to redesign with iOS or not? Because personally, I would love to see one. I think the iOS UI does need an overhaul, and so I do hope they give us redesigned icons, and if not, maybe give us theming options on the iPhone like we have on Android. I think that would be pretty cool with the widgets and so hopefully Apple bakes that in with iOS 15 instead of having to do some dodgy workarounds with Siri shortcuts on iOS 14. Anyways, thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe. For the latest Apple news and rumours, check out the video in the icon above about some pretty exclusive leaks on the 2021 iPad Pro and on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.